When you open a new project, your interface will look something like this. The heart of Media Composer is this bin container, represented by this bin tab. Bins are where you'll keep your content organized. The left side of the container is called the bin sidebar. This is where you can open or create new bins. As you can see here, I've already created some basic bins to stay organized. To create a new bin, right click within the bin sidebar and choose New Bin from the contextual menu. So as an example, I'm going to create a sequence bin, which is where you will create new sequences. Double click on each of the bin icons to open them. Each time you open a bin, it will open as a new tab within the bin container. There are three modes of viewing content within a bin. These are text view, frame view, and script view. When viewing content in frame or script view, use this slider to adjust the size of thumbnails within the container. Double clicking on a clip with a bin will load it into the source window. This is where you'll choose areas when you're assembling a sequence. So now you're ready to begin editing. But before you begin, you must always have one bin container open. If you accidentally close the only container available, it will close all the associated bins within it. To get the container back, simply go to the File menu and choose File New Bin Container. You will now see all your bins again within a floating bin container window. All bin container windows are clones of each other, so don't worry if you need to create new containers. They will all have the same exact bins available to you. And some quick review, to attach a bin container to another window, make sure you hold down the Alt key when dragging the container into another window. Okay, fantastic. Now you have the basic fundamentals of using a bin container to stay organized. And if you're looking to further upgrade your skills to become an Avid Certified User, give Genius TV a call.